Hi guys, it's been a while. Uh, Dan again, and Kevin from last video. And we're back, we're back with Getz. You remember Getz, right? Getz. No, Stuart's still dead, he still killed him, so. Uh, RIP yeah. Stuart. Yeah, like Gone RIP. too soon. Pull one out for soon. Yeah. Uh, right, we get started, we'll start from far end. Had a lot of really nice bits in today. Oh, well, not today, but you know, in general since last video. We'll start off with the Tecno Tetsujin. That's the drum, two sticks, and the full game, all in a really lovely pack there. That's what's a Japanese import. We've got a six head and steering wheel. This is really good if you want to get a bit of the old uh, steering done while playing six head. Uh, we've got a Neo Geo AES. This is a full deal in lovely condition. I'm not going to hold thing out now because it's a pain, but we will get to it afterwards. Uh, fantastic condition there. We've got a couple of games as well. We've got Samurai Showdown and Samurai Spirits, which is the sequel, I believe. We've also got the Datash, which I'm going to imagine I pronounced completely wrong. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is actually. I did look it up before, but I may have forgotten it's it. It's for basically moment. a barcode battler for the disc system. All right. For the, for the original Famicom. Speaking of disc system, we've got a Famicom second model Amen. with disc system. And also the oh, disc system there. Lovely Nick. And a lovely little piece as well. Going back over here, we've got a pair of drink cups. This one's more for backups and plays um, region free. This one's Japanese. We've got a lovely crystal green minty condition Xbox One, uh, Xbox original, sorry. We've got the special edition of Bravely Second End Layer for the 3DS. Oh, and we're sitting on top of a Super Famicom. Again, nicely boxed. Moving straight along, we've also got a Mega Drive 2. Obviously, you know, this is one of these you have around, but again, boxed in Queen Earth edition, so. Two pads, uh, Mega Drive, uh, Mega Games 1, and Sonic. Uh, two all in, in the box. box. Nice little package for you. Speaking of packages, we've got Pikachu, 3DS. Doesn't make a noise or anything, it's just Pikachu, but hey, if you like Pikachu and you like 3DS, it is, you are in luck. Speaking of being in luck, we've got a couple of Famicom games. Well, actually, that's actually an MSX game. Uh -huh. That's Pac Man there. We've got Wild Gun Man and Gun, and we've got Yoshi's Egg, which is a sequel to a uh, prequel to Yoshi's Cookie, which I didn't know about. We've also got the gun for Wild Gun Man, which Kevin will now demonstrate. Pew pew. Pretty good. The Neo Geo AES itself. Lovely, lovely piece of kit there. Funny enough, actually, really light for what you'd expect. But all the guts are really in the actual games themselves, so hey. We've also got a stick as well there as well. Speaking of pretty good, Metal Gear. And special mi missions. And special missions. And special missions. And what's that below there? Is that a special uh, uh -huh. stick for... It's originally actually a mod. Now, this is actually a Real Arcade Pro 3 modded to work on a PS4 and PC. It's a really hefty stick. Great weight. We had two of them. Unfortunately, one's gone. They are really, really nice. So if you are serious about your fighting, come on down for that. Speaking about seri seriousness, we've also got a pair of Game Boys. Look at these bad boys. They are beautiful. This one is actually soft-modded for a backlight. Uh, you can't see that because I don't have any batteries, but trust me, it's a backlight. It actually shows up red. This one, which is red, isn't backlit. backlit. So, uh, there you go. Speaking of lights, we've got a whole bunch of Gunpla models as well. Now, we did mention this before in our older videos. This is a Petite Guy Lightning Blue. Light? Get it? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, Petite Guy Lightning Blue there. We've got one of them. We've got a whole bunch of Gunpla, which we'll get to in a bit. But for now, if we go through the models as well, we have a quick look over here. Kev's going to show you all the figurines and more we've got in stock. Or so a few of them anyway. So we've got uh, Harui Suzumiya in a mech. What more could you want? It's a version Kotoki model as well, so you know the detail's going to be there. It's fantastic. And then we've got two best girls from Too Hot 2. If you want some... Best girl action. Best girl action. Listen, if I want to get some maids and some glasses girls, then I know where to come. Damn right. Uh, and then moving on to the Tamashi buddies. These two are Mega Man and uh, Mega Man X. We also have these in Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, and uh, Vocaloid. And Vocaloid, yeah. yeah. Hatsune Miku and all that. All, them, all of them guys. Get your Miku action on. Big On. We've also got. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, that was a terrible set. Yeah, so we've got some more Gumpler here. Uh, these are the Super Fumina kits. So you get the Super Fumina, Fumina model and the bust, aptly named. And we've got 
other kit, HE kits like the Rose and Zulu from Gundam Unicorn, one of my favourite kits. Brilliant colours. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Speaking of unicorns, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've got a uh, slightly slightly uh, pokey twin stick for the uh, PlayStation One original. It's now, about as rare as unicorns. There you go. They you? are, yeah, unicorn. Shit. Yeah. I mean, darn. Uh, yeah, so they're pretty nice. Speaking about things that are rare, like unicorns, we've oh man, this is getting so bad. Your uh, we've got the Virtua Cop 2 with both guns. Now, the blue one you've probably seen all over the place, pretty standard. But this orange one was Japanese only. Only the Japanese can have orange, it's, uh, it's the law, I think. Spice orange game cubes and stuff as well. Yeah, exactly, the orange, the orange swirl on green tasks. What's this stick, Dan? Well, speaking of orange... <laughs> Why? Orange, you glad we've got the oh, stick in stock? Hey. Oh God! This is. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. This is what I have to put up with on a daily basis. So this... the stick, we got the stick. It's great. If you don't want to go as hardcore as the modded stick, you can go for the V, uh, the V, the V, the V4, um, and they're nice too. They're nice too. Not as nice, but pretty nice. Speaking about things that are not as nice but pretty nice, Mega CD uh, one. Which is nice, but not as nice, in my opinion, as the Mega City 2. But hey, it's all here, it's in great nick, and it looks... Your opinion is wrong. I think this looks much it is, better it than It is a Mega beast, City. don't get me wrong. It's a huge beast. It's, a, it's amazing. It's a burly beast, but I still think I prefer the Mega 2 for the sheer sleekness of it. <laughs> you are wrong, sir. So, moving on from there, we cross down this way. We're going to go to, firstly, the remainder of the Gumper. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of kits here, a lot from the new uh, Iron Blade Orphan series. Over there. We're going to do more detail later though. If we have a look over at the cabinets, Kev's going to run you through what we've got. As always, we've got a fantastic selection of Mega Drive games. We also have box games in the store as well. N64, got the Zelda's Majora's Mask, Mario Tennis, Pokemon Stadium, Badger Kazooie, Smash Brothers, all of the classics. Everything you could ever want. Uh, we've also got um, PC Engine Tur Turbo Graphics cards as well. Mostly import uh, Japanese. Uh, a couple of uh, Neo Geo Color games there as well. And as always, fantastic selection of Game Boy Advance, original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, loads of the original Pokemon games there, all originals, not repros, DS games, and Game Gear games as well. One of the most underrated con consoles you could play for three hours. <laughs> Moving along, we've also got some NES games as well. Now, you've seen our NES selection here, so I don't want to bore you too much. If you want to see anything in particular, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, that's enough. Moving down, we move on to the Power Super Nintendo stuff. All here, all price. If you want to know anything more about that, you can pause it now. But that's enough of that. Further down from here, we've got our imports NES section. Famicom, of course. Super Famicom, rather. We've got things like Dracula XX, Turtles in Time, Final Fantasy VI. Some really nice bits. Oh, God, Final Fight Guy, Castlevania IV, and so on. We even went through the hassle of naming them for you, because you wouldn't know that was Castlevania, because it's got a big man with a whip on it. Unless we told you. Exactly. Moving across from there, of course, we've got the American ones, which are the ugliest carts in the world, so I'm not going to understand too much. So, if you want to know about them, you can pause the video now. Downwards, we've got those games from out here for the AES, Samurai Spirits and Samurai Spirits Japanese words. Uh, we've also got some Atari games, a bunch of um, Mega CDs and so on. These are all more um, import those, so... You know, you know you're Japanese because uh, I sure don't. Huh. <coughs> Over here. Over here we've got our box SNES game. So you've got Illusion of Time, Mr. Nuts, yes, Super Mario Kart, loads of stuff. You've got the uh, imports at the back there as well. Moving downwards, box 1064 games, both Legend of Zelda, f X, Jet Force Gemini, the ever popular Godfather of FPS, uh, Goldeneye. And then you've got NES games there as well, with some pretty decent titles there as well. You've got Ma uh, McDonald Land, quite rare. Uh, Super Mario 2, Yoshi's Cookie, Gremlins, Fexanadu, Krusty's Fun House, Dr. Mario, whatever you want. Then moving even further down, we've got our Mega Drive selection, Mega CD and 3DO games in there. And moving on to this cabinet, one of my favourites, you've got the... Uh, Game Boy Advance. And moving down, you've got 
most of our special PS2 games. So you got Dragon Ball uh, Tenkaichi 3, Front Mission, uh, Fire, Scars of War even, on PS2, Shadow Hearts, Pokemon XD, Pokemon Coliseum, all the good stuff. And moving down, we got PS1 games as well. That's where we had our uh, Metal Gear collections and Final Fantasy VIII's. Anything, anything like that you'll find in this cabinet. Cool. Down from there, we've also got the Atari Lynx, one just one color, and all the games for those. Some really nice but underrated handhelds that didn't quite make it, unfortunately, in the wake of the juggernaut with the Game Boy. And then some of the games as well. We've got some of Metal Slug First Mission from Near Joe Pocket, uh, some more Game Gear games. And we're going to slide across now from there to the Jewel Shop at the bottom, Jewel Shop PlayStation, which was a Japanese release there. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Kevin, why don't you tell them all about the Gunther that you've got in the house? Well, if you uh, show them this beautiful display cabinet, you'll find quite a few models that I made myself. So, if you're ever wondering what these models, model kits we uh, sell come out like, this is a good example. Um, I haven't modi modified mine too much. These are basically snap fit together, so you'll get a good idea of how these kits look. But this is my favorite kit here, the Kshatriya, big wing binders and everything. That is a custom base, which we can get for you as well. And if you move even further down, if you do want to customize your kits, you can get one of our many Tamiya paints. These are fantastic for spraying and they're real easy and just brilliant to paint with. If you move slightly further over here, here, this is uh, a set from one of our regular customers. This is the full Gundam, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz set. Now, he's a much better modeler than I am, so these are much better quality. And if you move one shelf down as well, you've got the uh, Sananju, the Torgis, and the uh, Epion. Moving across, we also have a small set of things like uh, Pikachu. We've got the amazing weather gumball. We've got Pikachu makes a noise when he touches it. Which is creepy. It's awesome. Uh, Gumball, further down from there, Pokemon, uh, some Marvel plush, and then further down we've got some Marvel Pony. Uh, relaxing on, uh, on everybody else there. While well, over this way, why don't I show you to our good friend, the Xboxers, who also sell laptops now in store too. They can pretty much fix up anything you have a problem with. And, uh, you know, you want to say a couple of words there, John? Say, uh, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well last but not least, we've also got uh, more stuff for board games and of course for manga. We've got plenty of it all here and each single volume is 3 There we go. Plenty of manga here, each single volume is 3 uh, or you can get 3 for 10. There is a lovely selection here, so come on down to play some games and check them all out. Uh, I think that's much everything for the moment. Yep. Oh, you know what, we should also mention real quick. Uh, well, you can't that, obviously. Amiga, Spectrum, Atari section, they're all here now. And they are well lush. We're going to go into more detail later though, because that's definitely more to it's a uh, special subject. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in store.